year fun. I know that's the right way to say it, like year fun. But when you have an umlaut over the U like they do right here, the pretend German in me wants to say year fun. And coincidentally, that also sounds like year fun. So maybe year funds marketing should be tapping into this idea right now. So anyways, this, my friends, is the year fun, year fun Wave Pro. It's the latest release in the hotly contested $80 ANC headphone arena, which in this case promises features up the wazoo packed in a premium looking package, as you can see. What I plan to do in this video is talk just as much about the pros as well as what was compromised in the process. Hi, my friends. My name is Aaron. If you're ready, let's do this. The Eurofund Wave Pro retails for 80 bucks and it comes in only one colorway. In the business end of things, there are 40 millimeter drivers on each side doing all the grunt work, Bluetooth 5.3 with AAC, SBC, as well as LDAC and multi-point support. There's also a gaming mode that runs around 79 milliseconds, which is pretty darn fast for what it is. There's also active noise cancellation and built-in wind noise reduction, but we'll talk more about that later on. The weight is 268 grams, a little bit on the heavy side, but still not too bad at all. Uh, battery life, I got around 47.1 hours at 65% volume with AAC and active noise cancellation on. When I switched to LDAC, I got around 39.6 hours with the same 65% volume. This headphone also has five mics on board that handles phone calls as well as noise cancellation. Um, and one thing that's pretty much par for the course for the price, it doesn't have wear detection. Straight up, this thing looks expensive even from a short distance from the camera to here, it does still convince me that sometimes it's a like a Sennheiser or something because the plastics look expensive and the padding looks nice and thick and generous, almost like leather, uh, but it is not. Um, and also the plastics hold back or hold up to scratches really well as well, even to fingerprints. So that's a really big plus. Um, and by the way, the these are not metal. They're like metal-like embellishments on the logo as well as the ring. And it's not a touch pad. It's all uh, through buttons, which is the way I like it, and I'll tell you what. But overall, this thing looks really nice. 11 detents on the headband uh, and pretty, very quiet. Check this out. Aside for the joints right here, it is very quiet and very flexible and a lot of articulation where you can just stuff in your backpack if you want or just stick it in the case that's included. Um, on the left ear cup is USB-C with a little status light right there. And over on the right side where all the controls are, you have the 3.5 mil. Uh, outlet and as well as a mic port, another LED light right there. And right next to that is the noise cancellation button that you can also reassign uh, for another control in the app as well. Volume up, volume down, or track forward, track back, and the power button, which also serves as pause play. The ear pads, as far as I can tell, are not replaceable. I've yanked as hard as I could and you know, it just doesn't budge. There's left, right indicators here. Um, and here, let me show you how hollow the plastics are. Let me hold it up to the mic. Pretty solid actually. So compared to like the J Labs or even Soundcore Space Ones that we looked at, this thing is a lot more solid. Whoa, amber is the color of your energy. Oh, shades of gold display naturally. Man, 311, how many of you grew up with that band? I can't believe they're still around and I didn't realize the lyrics were so positive and those guys are still the same band members after all these years still performing. That's really tight. But anyways, um, I had the earphones on playing their jam, uh, Amber on the OnePlus Open right now. And let's take these headphones from the back of my house towards the side. We're testing the Bluetooth signal strength just for fun, guys. And thank you for joining me, by the way. And where I'm standing is around 27 uh, feet away from the phone. And let's walk towards the side and see how strong the signal stays. It's really cold, by the way. We had got plenty of snow. I just got a slight fluctuation right there around the 34 foot mark. Yeah, it's just going nuts right now. Uh, yeah, we got lots of snow and ice. My goodness. But it's warming up enough to melt some. Yeah, at this point, that music is pointless to listen to. Nothing is playing right now. Uh, so, not bad, not bad. It's performing about on spec too, so. How does this fit on my head, guys? How does it look? I like, I like the design. I like how similar actually it is to the J Buds, uh, J Lab J Buds Lux that I tested the last time. The design is quite similar. Even the compression is about the same. And I'm not gonna take this running, by the way. That's all ice, and it just crushes under my foot, my feet. Oh my goodness! 
Yeah, but these stay pretty well uh, on the head. We'll talk more about comfort later on. Jeez, that's really unstable. Uh, but because I'm wearing my hat, it stays pretty uh, pretty well. So if you're running uh, and have a skull cap or a hat on, it's perfectly fine. But, you know, definitely not for working out these things. So next step, we're going to test the mics on these and how they perform with noise suppression uh, down by the roadside. So right now I am standing directly into the wind. It's five miles an hour approximately directly into the mic, uh, mic ports on these headphones. So let me know in the comments what you think of how these things handle wind. The roads are slightly, slightly wet, but there's, there's a lot of people still using snow, uh, studded snow tires. So uh, you can hear how these handle noise suppression. I'll give it probably, I've tested these for the past few days. I'll give it probably like a uh, C plus, B minus in terms of overall uh, voice quality and all that kind of such. There's some digitization um, and some uh, over over processing when there's a lot of traffic passing through but it's very serviceable especially if you're walking by the roadside busy street or whatever your listeners are going to be perfectly happy testing testing one two three testing testing one two three here comes a line of traffic i'm gonna hang out here for a while uh thank you guys for watching this let me know down in the comments what you think about how these your funds handle noises testing testing one, two, three. The Wave Pro, I'll tell you what, reminds me a whole lot of something like the One More Son of Low, in that it takes a whole bunch of value added features and then encapsulates them in a very solid, well made body. And it also helps that the features aren't merely frou frou. They work well for the most part, and in the case of audio quality, it works very well. Actually, let's dig into the SQ and the whole listening experience because that's the most important bit here. When you slip the headphones on for the first time, you'll notice that the ear cups seal your ears from the outside world very nicely. However, that impression of relative silence is temporarily broken by some hissing when you power on the device, especially with ANC on. But thankfully, anything above like 15% volume will overpower that effect. If you decide that you hate your hearing and want to crank the volume up to maximum, the Wave Pro is quite the composed partner, only maybe losing most of its cool on the high end. With a few tracks I listen to, like namely Porcelain by Moby, the 2014 remastered version, and Reckoner by Radiohead, there's good detail in the vocals and highs while not sounding wooly throughout the bass line that I complain about in the equally prized J-Lab J-Buds Lux. If anything, I find bass similar to how Soundcore tunes its headphones, which amounts to a low end that's strong and decently smooth, but plays it safe by not venturing too deep. The end result, I can say, may not please bass heads or suit tunes that live in that region. Listening to a not at all bassy piece like Hilary Hahn doing her sonata for violin solo number one in G minor is actually quite relaxing on these and totally fits how the Wave Pro is set up. Um, soundstage benefits from being slightly wider than the competition here, virtually placing audio about four to five feet away from your ears, which is pretty darn impressive. On the flip side, this seems to have an effect on imaging, especially with vocals. They either sound like they're singing right around you, or at best, if they are in the center, they are somewhat recessed as well. Another plus in the audio department is where many brands have gotten rid of audio ports. The Wave Pro offers one that you can use if you're out of juice. I mean, SQ is very bland and you can't power up the device to help out the amp a little bit either. So, you know, it is what it is. You can't have everything in it. I can't get you out of my mind. It's 
It's like I feel it for the first time Been thinking about you all night I've been searching for this all my life You're just my type I've been looking for a boy who can treat me right Ambient sound Normal Noise cancelling Normal Ambient sound Wind noise cancel in Ambient sound Normal Noise cancelling Wind noise cancel in Edifier, JLab, Cohen, are you paying attention? This is how you do plastics for 80 bucks. The touch points are not only tougher, but also feel nice in the hands. And yes, I wish there were more color options because this is the only one you get. And also still there is handling noise with all the plastics, but the extra layers built into this dull that out a little bit at the expense of extra heft. Oh my goodness. Wind is this thing's kryptonite, I'll tell you what. It probably didn't show up in the phone call sample I did earlier, but light wind easily enters the ear cup space and annoys the heck out of the user. Small complaint, but I believe this might have the slowest power down sequence I've ever seen on a headset. I timed it guys and it takes, get this, from pressing and holding down the power button to the voice telling me that it's actually off, six and a half bloody seconds. Imagine doing this for a few times per day, how much of your life is wasted. I'll tell you what guys, it's great that we are spoiled for choice in the budget range nowadays when it comes to headphones. And I'll say that the $80 earphone, earphone Wave Pro sits in the mid budget category. And as such, surprised me with a comfortable yet confident listening experience, as well as a high quality build. And this is actually a better complete package, if I had to say, than the JLab J Buds Lux that came out recently as well. And I think it's more in line with something like the One More Sono Flow if I had to offer an alternative. But anyways, that's all I got today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and thanks to Year Fun for sending this to me. And even though I got this for free, it doesn't change how we do good reviews and honest ones as well. And thank you again for being here and enjoy a weekend. I, I'm making this on Good Friday, so happy Good Friday to you guys. And remember to do something loving and kind for somebody in this world because guess what? The world needs it more than ever, and it starts with you. I love you all very much. Peace out and God bless. Whoosh. I timed it, guys, and it takes, get this, from pressing and holding down the power button to the voice telling me it's off six and a half bloody seconds. That's only slightly less than what it took me to run 100 meters once. Granted, it was in a dream, but it was awesome. And not only did I break the world record running backwards, I also made Usain Bolt cry. Yes, it was quite a sight to see a former champion break down like that. <laughs>